the cardiac cycle is consisted of the P wave, the QRS complex, and the T wave. I want to focus on the P wave and its interval. Let's talk about it. So the P wave again represents atrial depolarization and that's the electrical activity of the heart and also the P waves represents uh, a contraction of both atria. So we're going to be looking at the contraction as well as the uh, electrical activity of both atria. And I want to show you how to measure the P wave. I'm sorry, the P wave and its interval, which is the PR interval. So let me go ahead and pull my calipers up and look like I have to do a little calibrating. One moment. Calibrate. All right, so I like to look at it in milliseconds, but five large boxes that we see right here is equal to 1000 milliseconds or that's 60 beats per minute. All right, so now that we got our calipers cal calibrated, let's go ahead and pick some P waves here. I just wanna measure P waves real quick. Um, so the P waves are best seen at zero to 75 degrees. So I would want to look at my P waves in lead one, lead two, and lead ABF. They're, those leads should be able to show P waves very clearly, okay? And of course, within your zero to 75 uh, degree range. And we'll talk about the uh, axis a little bit later. Uh, but however, I'll pull up my calipers and lead two looks pretty good. I want to focus on this cardiac cycle. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and pull my calipers up. There are my calipers. So here's the, just a little anatomy of the calipers. Here's the, the left arm of the caliper I'm wiggling there. And here is the right arm of my caliper. Okay. So I want to place in measuring the P wave or P, I'm sorry, I keep saying P wave, but in measuring the PR interval, I wanna put the left arm of my caliper right where that P wave starts, okay? The PR interval actually consists of the P wave and its segment. Now, the right side of my calipers, it's gonna go, I wanna place that right at the beginning of my QRS complex. Now this view here is textbook view. And uh, most times when you're doing your EKG, you wanna get it as clear as this so you can read your uh, your uh, vectors a bit clearly. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that, my PR interval, and I'm getting here 240 milliseconds. Now, the duration of my PR interval is between 120 to 200 milliseconds. Now in seconds, I'm looking at 0 0.12 seconds to 0 0.20 seconds. Anything outside of those ranges would be pretty much abnormal for my P wave. I'm sorry, for my PR interval. Okay. And I'm looking here that uh, my PR interval here is 240 milliseconds. Now my 240 milliseconds give us a uh, a particular interpretation of my uh, EKG and we'll discuss that a little bit later but however I just want to focus on measuring our P waves and we're going to measure this as much as we can until we're very comfortable with uh, recognizing P waves and also um, recognizing the uh, parameters for my P wave so 240 milliseconds there in lead 2 so let's take a look at lead 3 <clears throat> So my lead three here, and if I look at this complex, as you can see, the P wave there is 240 milliseconds. Okay, so there you have it. Your PR interval 